tēnā koe. He mihi ke a koe kua tīmata nei ki te ako i te reo rangatira o te motu. Hara mai, nau mai. Ka hara tāua ki a tūtaki ki ngā rangatira o tēnē reo. Kia ora, I'm Jennifer Rūtene Rewiti. Welcome to the second part of our Māori language course, Te Kākano. Kia ora, I'm Julian Wilcox. One of the first things we ask someone when we meet them for the first time is, no hea koe, or where do you come from? Today we'll learn more about ways which we can refer to people in asking where someone is. Don't forget that Te Kākano is supported by books and tapes that will help you follow the programs and provide more listening and speaking practice. The books are available from most bookshops and the tapes can be obtained from the University of Waikato. Te Kākano is also available as a distance learning course offered by the University of Waikato. Listen out for today's word list. We'll repeat them at the end of the program, so see how many new words you can pick up. Today's keywords are kohoi, mahoho, mango, kahuko, and ngaru. Saying where something is in Māori is easy. Inside is roto, roto. Outside is waho, waho. On top is runga, runga. Underneath is raro, raro. In front is mua, mua. And behind is muri, muri. In today's episode of The Farmers, Marama gets into trouble at the beach and nobody has to play the hero. Or does he? Don't worry if you can't follow everything in the drama. You should try to record the program so you can go over them again in your own time. Nō re re te iwi no mai ki te kāinga o te whānau whāma. ハイレマイ。みまくいやや、けてパイキアハミ。けてパイテナ。カオカオリアウティヒヒア。やけとまい。へ、カウホイヒカウホイヒカウホイ。へ、たまたるかふくえ。こてまたきたきわひねけとひ
Kia Kaitingaro, Kotahimita He mahanga kotiro ahua rite tonu engare hara ya marama koroi ya ngaruana ke ya ke inai nei he wa hia no ke hia he ana ke muri te tokara ke tere me hari tawa marama 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 me pe he te faka mo hi wa tikita ku mama tsitsiro atsu Marama! Sawiri! Marama! Kai hoi mai! Kauri te tino hohonu! Kauri a hau te mōhio ki te kai hoi! Wai hurawa mō nai nei! Ka tai anua ka whaka mōhio mai! Tatari mai! Kau, kau e hare mai! Kauri a hau te iru ki roto i te wai! Kau e mataku! Ko ngā mango! Kau e pōrangi! Ka hore he mango! Kauri a hau te haere atu! Haere, tikina atu he pōti! Oh, kete hianga no ai ho ia. Haere, tikina atu, kia tere. Ka hore ia i te hianga. Mā upea ia e tia ki ahau e ngaro ana. Kei hā rā he pōti. Mā koe kimi. E hoa, kua ki te anō koe i te kai whakora tangata. Ka ore. Kita mohi o kouru a kahi a te kai whakaora tangata. Aua. Ah, kua ki te anō koutou i te kai whakaora tangata. Au. Kāti, ka riro māko nei. Koto ho tēnei, 
Me ate ati aki koe i aia. Ia koe i whakae mana koe i whakohoki mai. Te pae ake tana ahua i toi. Pae rau atu i tana ahua. Huria! Huria! Kia ora rā mo tō āwhina mai. Kei te pae noi ho. He a ke tō mahi, e ri me mene tinua e hoku a ngaro koe. E te whakaro ke koe mo hauria. Tēnā koutou, nau mai anō ki te wāhanga ako i te reo. Last week, we talked about greeting people using tēnā koe or tēnā koutou. We said that this form of greeting tells us how many people we're talking about. Koe and kuto are examples of the Māori personal pronouns. Personal pronouns such as I, me, they, them and us can be used in the place of personal names like hone and marama. The Māori language has a set of 11 personal pronouns. These can be divided into three groups. First, there are the singular personal pronouns which refer to one person. A ho or o means I or me. Kwe means you. And ia means he or she. Māori is different from English because the same pronoun is used regardless of gender, regardless of whether you are referring to a male or a female. The second group of personal pronouns are those which refer specifically to two people. Taiwa means you and I. Maiwa means he or she and I. Kōrua means you too. And Raiwa means those two. Note the two important differences between the Māori personal pronouns and the English. Māori has a separate set of words which are used to talk about two people. Secondly, you'll note that the first person dual pronouns Taiwa and Maiwa tell us whether the person we are talking to is included or not. The final group of personal pronouns are those which refer to three or more people. These are called the plural personal pronouns. Tato means all of us. Mato means them and I. Kuto means you three or more. And Rato means they or them. Note that the first person plural pronouns Tato and Mato also indicate whether the listener is included or not. Let's look at some examples. Kate ha koe, which means what are you doing? Kate ha ia, which means what is he doing or she doing? Kate ha taua, which means what are you and I doing? Kate ha maua, which means what are he and I doing or what is she and I doing? Kate ha tatu, which means what are we all doing? And kate ha mato, which means what are they and I doing? Kia kaha tonu te prakitihi. Our tūpuna were great fishermen, and their skill at catching kaimoana has been handed down the generations. Today we look at a place where the fishing is so good, the fish come right out of the water to the fishermen. At Tomutu on the shores of Lake Ellesmere, Ngāti Moki have a saying, E harate ho he kai te tomutu. No matter the way of the wind, there's always food at tomutu. These type of lakes are um, unique to New Zealand, unique to the, to the South Island. Um, they, they are referred to as hapua, and they are formed um, very close to the sea uh, and, and quite often mix with the sea waters, so the lake itself is, is made up of... Uh, um, a certain amount of seawater as well as fresh water. They, they provide a habitat um, that has huge amounts of mahinga kai, um, such as pātiki flounders, eels, tuna, um, inaka, whitebait, kanakana, lampreys. Uh, that's just to name a few. The busiest time for fishermen is te heke tuna, the time of the eel migration. This time of the year, they um, they come down the tributaries into into the lake. They're moving in those streams to get to the lake, where they can uh, move out in towards the ocean, um, head out of the lake over the sand and into into the sea. Mm. And from there, 
they, uh, they say that they migrate um, out into the Pacific, uh, into the Tongan region, and there they, they spawn, reproduce, um, have their, their young and come back again. The setting sun tells eelers to prepare themselves and their traps. During Tehikatuna, the streams are alive with eels, some as long as two metres. OK, we're going to be um, putting a hinaki down here in the, in the water um, to, uh, to, to catch some eels later on tonight. And um, when we come back down after it's got dark, we should be able to catch uh, a few so we can see what, what sort of tuna uh, are in this area. Um, maybe it's some, some big ones, some little ones, depending on what's, what's about tonight. Okay, right, the hinaki's are uh, made up of um, cylinders and uh, it's, it's one large net and the tuna swims in the front of the, the hinaki into the first section and um, once they, they come inside it's, it's hard for them to turn around, especially for the large ones and they swim into the first section then they swim through like a, a bit of a tube and once they, they go through that tube, the, they're, they're stuck in there and they can't, can't get out. And just make sure the mouth's sitting there all right. And that's it. Let's let it do its job for a few hours. Ngāti Moki used to make their hinaki out of flax and akka vines. The materials have changed, but the efficiency of the trap is just as good. Commercial fishermen take almost 170 tonne of live eels from here each year, but for Ngāti Moki, it's food for the fauna. The traps don't need bait because the eels are only interested in spawning. As they migrate up the streams, they are easy prey to Māori fishermen. There's different methods that we, um, we employ. There's, there's hinaki, um, the nets that we, we laid last night. Um, gaffing, using a, a hook method. The process that we use for, for um, catching, drying and, the, and uh, filleting um, the eels are uh, certainly the, the same way as our, um, as our tūpuna did them. Um, processes of, of drying whakamaroke, um, hanging uh, toto and, uh, and the fillet, filleting of it, which is called pāwhara. The season is over, but the tribe and eels will meet at Te Hekatuna next year. <laughs> Saying the days of the week in Māori is easy. Monday is Te Mane. Tuesday is Te Ture. Wednesday is Te Winere. Thursday is Te Taite. Friday is Te Paraire. Saturday is Te Hatare. And Sunday is Te Ra Tapu. How many of our key words did you pick up? Let's see what they were. Kohoi, to swim. Mahoho, a shed. Mango is a shark. Kahuko, a swimming togs. And Naru, waves. Don't forget, it's very important to practice what you learn and very useful to try out your new words with other people. Now, if you're following the course through the University of Waikato, or at school or wherever you're learning, then keep practicing and working with other people. Next week at the Farmers, nobody gets a surprise at university. Kaurei 
tu mumu kaka hu. Ko yana ya ku kaka hu yara yara. Ke pai u kaka hu hare ki te fare wana na. Ko e mahara hara e kui, ko yana nga kaka hu aku ho. Sino kino ko e? Ke te re mai e kai ka ture ji ko tau. He ate tai mai nae nei. Ha pa pa hi tuwa. Tiki ta peke. Me ha yo ki. E ko e ta ko ti wakaraka. Mau wa we mau wa ki e wi ta ku. Ai ki ta pa. Ko ya ke i ta wai to wa ku. Ki te wi ta i ko lo ko wai. Ya ha ma. Me ha ri ta. Ka pe ya to para ku. Ka ho re te hia ka i ka wai pa pu ndi. Ai re ko lo. Ke pa i to ra tu ta hi ra wi. Ekui, na wili hare mai ki kuna e ki te tūtaki taku kai whakaako ko hana taua. Oh, to kai whakaako? E hana ko taku moko puna tēnei ko rā wili. Tēnā koe. Hmm, he pai ki te tūtaki kia koe. Kia koe anō hoki. Kei te pauri koe ki hai koe iru mai ki te tari Māori ne. Ai rā hoki, ko ngā kai whakaako tau hoko hoko, ne ki atu ki te pā te kau ngā tau, o rā tau kāko u hoki, e hui ti ana ke. Ah, é, ngari, kā hore he puare i roto o rātau tarau pēna. Ko rātau ki ngā kai whakaako, he ako ngā tonu a hau. É, ngari, kei a ia tana tohu pairua e whai ana e ai nae nei tana tohu kairangi. Hmm, he wahini mōhi o ne. Kā hore no e ho, hoi anō, ka kaha tonu te mahi. Māku koe whako oki ki te kāinga e kui. Kei te pai koa o te kei tēnā i te whakarite. Hmm, nana kia koe ki te whiwhi tonu pai a kei tāku. Kei te haere koe i naia nei. Ai, he nui aku mahi. Kā ki te i a koe i te kāina. Haere rā. Kā ki te. Until next week, hei ko nei. Hei ko nā. Oh, oh, oh.